All right, gonna do a video on brakes. Got the tire off. You wanna adjust, get it chalked, get it jacked up. Adjust your brakes back if you need to do it before you take the tires off or after. I release my parking brake before I take the tires off so that I can um, uh, adjust the brakes back. So you adjust them back so you get them loose and you can go even more but then you want to smack this with a hammer and pull that drum off. like a motherfucker. God damn it, that hurt. Fuck. Alright, so this shit is so damn worn out. Fuck, that hurt. This shit's so fucking worn out. The, the, okay, let me just see if I can show you. God damn. Holy crap. I'll show you this ledge, but basically the brakes were, the drum was getting stuck on the brakes. Oh, I gotta be bleeding under that glove. Fucked. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but see that lip, that's bad. But that was getting stuck on the drum, so no matter how much I was loosening it, trying to hit it, that's how it wasn't coming off. I started thinking that right I was about to pull it, and I got my finger pretty good. All right, All right everyone does brakes differently. Some people. Yeah, I mean, people do the brakes all differently. I got my hands on a tool like this a couple years back, and it is great. But what you can do is you get this and a pry bar. Let's see, I'll show you. But I'm going to use my other tool to do it, but I'll show you what you can use in a pinch. Okay, so you get your vice grip on, on the spring. This under here, and then you use the leverage to push it down and it'll pop out. If you do it, you know, you just gotta do it right and get this a little bit tightened. I wouldn't use uh, needle nose, I just grabbed them, use regular. But I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. Kind of using the same philosophy. I don't know if I got that on video, but yeah. Just that. Same thing over here, okay. Now usually what you wanna do is remember how these springs are coming off. So you got this spring up here on the top and this spring up here on the bottom. Now, I don't, can't necessarily say that one is the right way or the other because someone may have put this, done this in the past. So they might not be 100% right, but I'm gonna go with what was on it. So then you just break them, break them free, pull them off. As long as you want to clean up, clean this thing up, clean all this up. It's your ABS sensor, so you want that to be clean. All right, let's go. We're gonna clean that up a little bit and get these new brakes. Going. Oh, we got the new brakes here. Usually, sometimes you this is a little metal piece, and you gotta actually punch it in. Make sure you got everything in your kit that you're gonna need. And we get ready to put these on. All right, so with these guys, they just, the little springs, they pop around here, pop in there, and then they go in the side closest to your little post right here. And you just gotta squeeze them in and we should get them all. Little springs in the holes. Alright. And you 
do it to the other one. Okay, so I put it on, my bad, I put it, it, it kind of depends on what side will let you fit. Um, it's gonna be, make more sense to put this side on first. And then I'm gonna adjust the slack adjuster, which will move the S-cam to, I'm gonna seat this in our little brass fitting right there. All right. All right, now you can see I've adjusted it to where this is flush now and that's flush over there. So now what I do with my next one, you get your large spring, which goes on your little post that was already pre-fitted in there, which is over on this side. You can see the little, little notch right there. Your, top of your hook on it. Make sure it's on there. Alright. Then you just get your other brake and you kind of fold it over. That's how I do it. You don't want a pry bar, pretty long one. The other brake too, it's already set up. You just kind of angle it onto this other hook. And then from there, you get your pry bar, stick it on the bottom here. And you, gotta, you do gotta be careful because it's gonna wanna come off and then these brass fittings sometimes, these brass fittings sometimes are gonna wanna come off. So once you get it hooked on the top and on the bottom, Let's get this right here. Look, manipulate it down a little bit. Look, you're in. And you get this one. Match it up on the other side. And get your springs. And put them the, the same way they were. I usually hang them. Hang them from their respected areas. And I don't know why they don't look white, right. I'm gonna go back and look at the video and make sure it's going on the same way. Okay, so got this one on there. They were on the wrong way, so flip them on the right way. So you just get the top one on there. Just hook it and then you just push down no you can see it's pushing the other brakes over so the other side it's gonna be a little more difficult this is a good example because this happens sometimes that it's in but it is not I can't really see it, but it's not see how that one you can see that one you can't it's not fully seated sometimes you can take a pry bar or a hammer or some whatever you're using kind of just knock it back in there the rest of the way I'm gonna use a little hammer to pop it in all right got them on it can be a pain if you have the right tools they're much easier people do it different so if you want to do it a different way that's that's going to be on you all right well, i'm gonna get these this side on and put the tires on and then we'll adjust the brakes and it's going to be good to go all right we out